Hi guys, it's Unicorn. I'm doing a video cast again. It's been a while. Very long time actually. But uh I'm back. Gonna do this. Uh this is a game posted by Stewie. It's his Isengard against Jackal's Gondor. Very nice matchup with Gondor on host. It should be even. Stewie started Fern Fern Pit deleted his two ferns after his wall check and he's going for Pit and one mill. He's only getting this one mill to uh, get faster work production, get his third work out faster, then, and he can make laborers here, which uh, it's not quite the same income as uh, if you get the other mill, but he'll be able to get the second mill in a while. Uh, the Turk, Jackal, he has started Blacksmith Farm and is getting his outside farms with Hobbit, standard for this matchup. Some people like to go to farm, but it's pretty rare. Stewie's been able to take off two soldiers from this bat already, that's very good at the start here. And I don't really know what uh, Jackal's trying to do here, he's trying to fight the uh, unchanted work. And he's used heal instead of land. That's a pretty interesting choice. And he's micro soldiers as best as he can, but uh they're getting hit by wards. And the champ is out, but he's already used heal and there's two orcs, so Eisen should be able to defend this no problem. And he's able to buy the mill as well. As we can see on the minimap, Bison's also got two orcs running towards Gondor's side. We're gonna attack the farms. And uh Gondor's Hobbit is trying to creep over here. No ferns in the Eisen base yet, so his economy's still low. He's just bought the second mill. And he's taking care of the rest of these soldiers right now. Get going. And yeah, this is kind of hard for uh, Gondor. He's gonna lose this farm. And it looks like Aizen wants to champ over here. Or he might save it for uh, this one. It's a creep? Nah. He's even bought the mill over here. Get that better discount on the ferns, he won't be able to get much income from that with the Hobbit there. And Eisen's used Chan to take down the second farm and probably creep. First horse is on its way already. But Eisen's getting two more. I mean, this creep as well and this one down here. You will get without any trouble. Gives a nice income here and get some more ferns. And the additional income from here will come up very handy as well for him. He's still gonna get this creep, isn't he? It's excellent creeping by Eisen. Gondor, yeah, look like he's gonna creep. Oh, he is. is going forward. He is getting more pikes as we speak. Power point situation, yeah, Gondor's got a quarter, a half in addition to heal. Isaac Scott, he would have enough for industry right now. He takes it. Good choice, I think. He's got a pretty low economy right now. He needs industry to establish his base, maybe get some wards out. Gondor's base, yeah, he's only got the one blacksmith. No additional economy yet. His uh, early game has been uh, very bad. This is this is definitely looking like it's favored for Isengard right now. Even though his economy is kind of low, Gondor's is even lower. He's been able to keep it in check. 
Ride out for Gondor. And the second Horus is out. While Ising continues to spam pikes. It's my friend quite well against this creep. Running in the turn. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful job there. Gondor's still gonna try and steal it. And Ising gets it. Well, Ising kind of stalled that, actually. If you think about it. Gondor's got no outside farms. He's just uh, got a few of these wargs. So Ising's gonna get this creep as well. Gondor has not gotten any creeps so far. No, he got this one. This one here. He's gotten one creep. Ising's gotten five. I'll try and steal this one here as well. But Aizen gets that one. So five creeps to Aizen, one for Gondor. This is looking very much in Aizen's favor right now. And obviously in this case when Gondor is taking heal, Aizen should take industry every time. It's just not worth it to get land. You might not even uh, have to cover it for a long time. And if you use it yourself, Gondor can easily just take land. It's only one power point for them. Gondor's making the most of his forces right now. He's uh, attacking the mills where there's no pikes. But there's a ward out already. Wow, this is looking so strong for Aizen. And he does have Palantir. He's used it to try to catch this horse. Luckily for Gondor, it's not quite good health. His power point situation is looking desperate. He does have blades now, so that's good. And he's just gonna get all the wards he can, the ones that are left all over the, all over the map. Some Uruk pikemen have risen from the pit! And Stu is going for armory and ward pit at the same time. As you can see, if you look at the minimap, he's got nails pretty much everywhere. That gives him the economy to do so. But still, it'll be hard if Con Gondor keeps taking the mills down. Killing the laborers as he did right there. That'll keep his economy down. He's deleted Ward Pit now. Just buying upgrades. And the warriors already have blades, no armor yet. A good chance by Aizen. Able to keep that part of the map. And he's buying banners for the war as well. This is looking so good for Aizen right now. He's controlling the entire map. He's got mills everywhere. Gondor's doing what he can, but it's not really much. This horse can... He's got armor, so he can try... Fight the pikes, but there's a ward nearby. Which uh, some of them still had chance, now it's over. And he doesn't want to lose this. And he won't. Uh, look at this, there's so many pikes. Not many towers yet, that's a bit of a risk, but I did. He's got enough units to defend his base anyway. He doesn't need to worry about a base rush right now. Three wards. Here, he's gonna go fight this pipe with uh, two horses. So he can take it down to those rank two. That is a uh, very good power point fishing right there. And he does kill it. Fight the wards, kill a few of them off before having to retreat. He gets back to the well. 
third horse is out here, though. Shields are on the way already. Alright, that is uh, that's good for Gondor at least. Looks like we got some more light. Ryzen's got uh it's just buying you fire, then he's gonna have all the upgrades and to beat the uh armory. Uh might Gondor go for shield rush now. He's buying shields at least. He's gotta drive back these wards first. He just has to Forcing a chant there is uh, very useful. That way won't be available uh, when going to rushes. Still needs three quarters of power point for elves, which I assume he'll be going for next. Yeah, he's gonna try and take down a few of these mills, and uh, this horse should definitely go back and heal before uh, before going for the base. And it looks like he's kind of forgotten about this work. Uh, it's just some more PP that Condor's getting for the And he's got heal available, so he should be using it here. Very nicely done. Oh, he's killed a ward. And the second one almost died as well. Good job by Gondor, considering the uh, situation he's in. He's making the best of it. Definitely. In this matchup, you need to be so careful not to lose horses, because losing one or two even just means... Uh, sets you back so much economically because you basically have to replace them. You can't really play without less than three horse. Preferably you're going to want to have four after you get shields. So you can uh, rest the map and the base. And Aizen's already made combos. That's a interesting choice. I don't feel like he needs combos yet. Great micro by Gondor. The way he's uh, getting those horses on both sides of the pikes to uh, do some damage to them. And immediate reaction to that uh, chant. All the while he's microing this horse back here. Not a good position to fight. The wargs are getting more damage in. Um, there's a pellant here. Warg pit again, so he's gonna go for more wargs. Stewie does like to do that whenever he can. Now, even though Gondor hasn't rushed the base, getting shields is still useful. It uh, adds to the overall armor of the knights as well. Makes them better against both pikes and wargs. And there's an elf summon right here to take down these bladed pikes. Look at that damage, it's crazy. And they don't have armor. Is one of them gonna get away? I don't think he's gonna let that happen, no. Takes it down, he spreads out the elves, two going in the middle and one going through the bottom. The ward's gonna trample off on them. Uh, they can start taking down that guy immediately. He's actually attacking the combos. Nice heal. And this is excellent horse micro. He's actually getting in the back and taking out the archers. Three power points for him. Excellent play by Gondor. What else can I say? And the elves continue to do damage here. It's kind of crazy. Now the wards take him out finally. And he 
he's making a fourth horse. He's got good ranks on the Wizard ones he has. And he Gandalf is out. Ride out for Gondor! First chant right there. And Gandalf just goes elsewhere. Using Astari on the pipes. You should do that whenever you can. Because if Aizen's paying attention, you can't blast them. And a few micro as well. You can just keep twisting and turning, trying to avoid lightning sword and wizard's blast, so it's a good idea to use Astari because that's the one spell he can't dodge. I'm just warming up! See, right there. Moves away from the blast. As he should, but you can use horses to attack uh, pikes when they try to avoid that. As Jack was showing us here, and he's going for the base with uh, two horses. Why is it? He needs 1,600 for Saruman. He's fighting the wards there, yeah, that's a good idea for a while, but he's got to back away from the towers. Did he lose a horse? No, there's one in the base. So, three combos he's gonna have. Oh yeah, would have been even better a star if I... Uh, if the pikes had stayed in that little spot that would have killed the whole bat. Oh, that was a missed lightning sword. <laughs> Good job by Aizen there. Lourdes is trying to get in GTW's way. Intercept him. Aizen's got the rain. I don't know, I might have gone for Field of Fires myself. He still only got GTW leadership, and that is probably not uh, enough to warrant rain in terms of fuel fires. But if you can keep the whole map, he doesn't really need fuel fires, it'll have enough. Alright, there's an elf summon. And now elves are faster than these combos, so they can chase them all day. He's got two high-ranked horses here to protect the elves, and the orbs go in, they will get their asses kicked by these horses. <laughs> Try and trample the elves. There's Saruman. Oh, Firebolt will do wonders here. Right in the... Oh, would have, would have gone for the middle there myself. But then he can blast that off. It was a good job by Aizen, but as you can see, the elves almost took out a whole combo. They do quite a lot of damage in the end. Where's Gandalf? He's down here. Gondor's on five horse right now. Just gonna trust in his uh, horse micro and multitasking. Try and outplay Eisen. That's really hard when it's Stewie playing. He's uh, it's got some of the best awareness and control in the whole game. Hard to out multitasking. Gondor has to back off there, but as you can see, Gondor is getting quite a bit of the map already. Eisen's just sort of controlling this middle board here. With the combos. Uh, and there's Gandalf getting a bit more experience. Rank. And now he's got three horses and Gandalf heading for the uh, for the base. Lourdes is almost there already. So he has got to uh, Retreat a little. There is horses number four and five. They are also gonna go up here. Oh, uh, that horse is doomed. Is it? No, he wasn't firing. He took out the ward pit though, that's nicely done. 
Hellinger is nice, but uh, excellent fireball. But uh, I mean, yeah, at this outpost, he's not gonna. He's gonna have to back off at least momentarily. There's Ray. Good job by him there. To uh. Yeah, Rain is really helpful in these kind of fights at the outpost here. And Gondor is forced to back off. There's just too much eyes and guard. The wargs are champed. They got Saruman Nader. Everything. He's just going to back off from this outpost. He uh, won't be able to keep it. That's why I don't really like making archeries at outposts mostly. Because you might very well lose it. And... And if you don't right away, there's a risk that you do later, and you won't be able to produce any more rangers. Nice blast, Eisen wasn't paying attention there. As you can see, uh, Eisen's taking the map back, pretty much all of it. But Gondor's got... There's four horses here, one with Gandalf. Yeah, he's still on five. Thought he just made a sixth. Not sure though. Ooh, that was close. Okay, last I guess. Wow, that fireball. High rank that will get away though. And Lord is on the chase as well. He will get an Astari off, though. Ooh, that's a nice Astari. And Gondor's by the top outpost. I really don't think he'll be able to keep it. Not with these combos coming. And he does get the blast. It's only one point from Eagles. This is a great job by Gondor in collecting power points. Really good play. He's floating a lot of cash. It's the only fault in his play right now. He could have had an archery trebs by now if he wanted. I guess his attention is focused more on microing around the map. Oh, he fucked up with that lightning sword. Good Astaria, though. And he's got Elf Summon available to him as well. And he's buying this outpost again. I don't know if that's such a great idea. I guess it's good to uh, get stuff on both sides of the map to uh, kind of uh, make sure Eisen has to spread his forces out. So now the combos are making their way over here. And he can go harass some other part of the map if he wants to. On the other hand, he is spending a lot of uh, resources on this stuff here. He's gonna want to get an Astari, but he sees where it's coming. Great Eagle Summon. Oh, that'll that'll be the end of Lurtz. It's Fireball off on one of the Eagles, and now Gandalf is going in. End of those eagles. Gandalf messing up on the blast. I don't know, I really feel like you should chase these combos. Go blast them. 
because he could do that. There's a nice elf summon. And those horses doing their work on that combo. Excellent job by Gondor once again. Out. There's Gandalf going in for a blast. No, he's going in for an Astari on Saruman. Does not get him. He could shoot Saru with the elves. Oh man, he could have killed Saru. That is frustrating as fuck. To watch. He lost a couple of horses there as well. Wards are taking care of this outpost as well. This is great multitasking by both players. For the glory of Gondor. So Gondor's down to three horse, but he's making more. He's got four now. These two at the top. I've uh, made sure it worked with this uh, this whole side of the map. And he's going to get an outpost Knights again. Gondor will protect these lands. However, wards are headed that way. Should be noted, Eisen only needs six and two thirds for Balrog. Gondor needs almost eight for AOD. Excellent blast. Rank eight Gandalf. I'd like to see him get that archery up at some point. <laughs> Get some archers out, actually. And he's got chance, so he could have uh, he could have gone for that top outpost with the wards. However, if there's a completed statue and a well, that kind of changes things. It makes it harder. He doesn't have raid available anyway. Gondor always just fights until he's got some horses on red, and then he goes back. Very good play, maximizing the, uh, the damage that the horses can do. Now he's, uh, yeah, now he's got a bit less money. He's upgraded his base a bit. He's got wall trebs and towers. This will be extremely hard to attack. Now wards are going for the bottom outpost again. Let's see if he uses chant here to take this out. He can fight with just Howl, but uh, he's got a good surround on the horses now, so he can drive them back regardless. There's no eagles. Oh. oh, he just doesn't get pinned. That was really close. Alright, it looks like we might have a fight on our hands. Three Eisen combos and two wards with Lurks and Saru. Nah, they're turning back. Or not. Gondor... Yeah, he's bought fire now. And these archers have a uh, armor and banner. These two at least. With the statue of leadership, they'll do a lot of damage. Gondor's got two horses going for the base as well. But there's some pikes. It should be able to drive them back. And they are. Saru also returns to the base. Four Ryzen combos now. Perhaps to kill the eagles a bit faster. And Gondor's got fire on the archers. He's summoned elves. He wants to uh, force eyes into fight back at the outpost. You can just take a shot, retreat. Take a shot, retreat. The combos won't be able to touch him. Uh, 
And there he's got statue leadership. Aizen does have rain ready, which he has now used. That'll take care of that leadership, but that's an excellent use of land. Aizen's covered it, but I don't know if it'll be enough. Earth dies anyway. And Gandalf getting that blast off. That is massive. And the star now. Saruman. Saruman is dead. It's an excellent fight for Gondor right now. Wow, look at this. All the combo almost all the combos are dead. He's got these archers in the Citadel as well. Oh, this is beautiful. He could use lightning swords still. The combos are gonna die regardless. But wow. He needs a bit less than a point for AOD. And he barely lost anything there. Look at this. The archers are still on full health. The horses took a bit of damage, but still intact. He's got three horses left. What about these other two? Yeah, he's got five horses altogether. Excellent situation for Gondor. He's about to have AOD. He needs less for AOD than Aizen needs for Ogd. So that fight really made him catch up. This really brilliant by him. And it seems that Gondor disconnected. Oh, that's that's such a sad ending to that game. It's one of the best games I've seen in a long time. Probably one of the best games that's been played in a long time. Uh Basically, Aizen started excellently. Gondor was in a really bad position from the start. But uh, he was able to come back in with excellent horse micro. He just went mass horses and Gandalf and then tried to take the map, get some archers out on the map. He really played that game well. He, he forced chants when Aizen didn't really want to use them. His elf summons were excellent. He was, uh, he was able to attack the combos with... I mean, even the pike crossbow combos, he was able to take them down with horses and keep Aizen back and keep getting PP. To be honest, I really feel like Gondor would have won that game had uh, had he not disconnected. They were they were both about to get uh, their ultimate powers. I feel like maybe Gondor would have gotten it first. Aizen would have gotten Rog from the AOD, but Gondor controlled the map. He had both outposts. So I would definitely rule that in Gondor's favor without the, without the disconnect. But uh, that's how it went this time. I hope you enjoyed my cast. There might be more to come. If I feel like it. Uh, see you again.